and welcome to Cornish Walking Trails today. Casual stroll around St Ives that is season. In today's video, smoke mackerel. It's yummy. Do you want to play some property pool? Run away, run away. Teetotal Street. Do you fancy two pig gins? But this is contactless now. 40p to have a pee. Is it worth visiting St Ives slightly out of season? St Ives is surprisingly busy. It is a sunny day in late September, so I think everyone's taking advantage of the late summer sun. We're going to take a little stroll around, see what's open. Is it worth visiting at this time of year? What can you squeeze out at the end of season? Let's start with the beaches. There are four main beaches and some smaller beaches in St Ives. The first one I always think of is Portminster. Beautiful, just below the railway station. Harbour Beach is exposed at low tide and is right in the centre of town. Porthgwydden is small but perfectly formed and you might spot a seal. But let's start with Portmere, it's the best surfers beach. Now that the main tourist season has passed, the beaches are pleasantly busy, plenty of space to sit and enjoy the late summer sunshine. Cornwall enjoys many sunny days with temperatures in the late teens at this time of year and the sea has had plenty of time over the summer to warm up. Let's go down and look at the beach. This is Portsmere Beach in St Ives. The best beach for surfing. Here you are. Where have you been? For a little surf. No. Yeah, it's really good. You've never surfed. You'd think I'd be too long for it, wouldn't you? Pretty good. Just give it a go. You aren't even wet. <laughs> really lovely about just watching the sea oh there's a guy caught away he's doing really well just watching people having fun A bit of lunch. I was just about to say that, but I'm hungry. There's a great cafe, it's up on the top floor. They've got a fabulous view to die for. Yeah. Let's do that. The cafe in the Tate is on the fourth floor and offers mainly a vegetarian themed menu. Tasty. Two types of salad, beetroot and cheese, and this is all earlies with potatoes, a few leaves on top and some gorgeous, gorgeous smoked mackerel. It's yummy. Is yours yummy? Mm. Yeah, I've got David Stowe cheddar frittata with a broccoli and potato salad. Very tasty, very nice. Must go out on the balcony. Have a look. Oh gosh, it's busy. More cafe. Look at this roof terrace. Oh, I see. Oh, wow. Oh, how wonderful. The Tate is open all year and includes some exhibits from well known Cornish artists like Barbara Hepworth, Alfred Wallace, and it's also got a lot of exhibits from guest exhibitors and artists.
we had a great day exploring the art instant eyes and we're going to put that out as a separate video so look out for that one where are we going <laughs> are we filming the same thing not being funny, I reckon I could do that for about £4.99. Take care, take care. Cheers! <laughs> you can see the cafe, you can see the window we were sat at earlier. Anyway, next to that, behind the roof of that cottage, is a big hole. Apparently, the rumour is the chief executive of Tui has knocked down a house, is building a brand new house with a basement pool there. Don't know if that's true or not, but he's going to have a spectacular view of Portsmouth Beach and the island. We're we looking for top tips of things to do in St Ives out of season. Yes. Do you want to play some property porn? Oh yes, oh. my favourite game. Look at this. How much is this going for? Do you think it's one or two? Oh, well, let's go and have a look. We need to pull up the details. I think it's just one. Across the state. Right, let's look it up. Hang on, we need to guess first. You can't yeah. play property porn in Why not? Size. No, no signal. signal. Oh no, we'll have to play it when we get home. <laughs> Any guesses? Um, well, I reckon it's what, two bed, terraced? Yeah. Uh, in St Ives? Yeah. I'm going with 620. Oh, I was going to say 650. Oh, I okay. Bet we're both wrong. We'll go home and look it up. <laughs> Despite our best efforts, even when we got home, we couldn't find this listed. If you can find it, and you know how much it was listed for, please pop it in the comments. <laughs> Where are we going? Oh, look at that door knocker. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's a beauty, isn't it? Oh, I've never seen one that goes that way. No, don't. Uh, it works as well. Run away. Run away. <laughs> oh, my God. Did anyone else? No. Oh. <laughs> Can we get into town? Yeah. I wanted to film down there though. Oh. <laughs> okay. The reason I want to come back down this way, we've always wanted to go inside St Nicholas's Chapel on the island and when we got there it's either winter and it's shut or they're doing it up and making it good again. We noticed today the doors open so I am determined to get up there. I think this area of St Ives is one of the most romantic parts. We've got the fantastic sand of the sea, the breaking waves, they look astonishing, they're mesmerising. Now you've got a sharp climb up to one of the most spectacular viewpoints where you see all of the eyes laid out before you. Hard work I don't think we're going to be rewarded. The door's shut again. One day we will get in there. Might be worth just trying the door. It's a shame it's shut. Yeah. We were walking along the beach earlier on and I looked up and there was people coming out of it. By the time we got up here it's shut again. But uh, it's beautiful, isn't it? So yes. uh, it's quite old. I think it was... Re um, Placker said it was destroyed, partly destroyed, but then rebuilt in 1904. Okay. I've got, I'm sure I've got a photo at home, maybe before the restoration work. I've certainly got an old photo somewhere. I'll see if I can dig it out and find it. Okay, we'll put that over the top of this bit here. It's pretty empty inside. Just a little preview. <laughs> in St Ives will be Portsquidden Beach. Actually means White Beach. Let's see if we can spot a seal.
No seals today. Oh, shame. Just up the steps around the corner is St. Ives Museum. We'll see if we're in luck, see if it's open. It's getting on a bit now, so it might have shut. But it's something you can do out of season. In some ways, St. Ives feels like you're walking through a living museum with all the cottages looking so pretty and perfect. It's amazing, really. But they've managed to keep it looking like it would have done all those years ago. Right, Teetotal Street, are we going up there? <laughs> Can we get a drink up there? <laughs> Water only. <laughs> no, we'll get the other way. <laughs> Enjoying the last summer warmth. Ah, oh, it's a beautiful day. Got to walk to the end of the pier. It's got to be done. done. Beach is just revealing itself. The tide is on the turn. I think that board on Portsmouth Beach said 20 to 4. All the boats lined up here. The light here is absolutely astonishing. <laughs> and I do love to see the little boats bobbing around. Hmm. That one could do with a bit of TLC. I'd love to take that on as a project, wouldn't you? What have you seen people doing out of season in Sives? Very little. They're just relaxing, aren't they? Yeah. They're just chilled. They're watching the world go by, aren't they? Yeah. You see all the people up there on the benches, yes. and literally just watching a, it's a few hardy souls on the beach. Yeah, taking um, a dip. They're mad. It's time of the year and it's right at the end of, well, we're, we're the very last week of September. Yeah. So, I don't know, is this out of season? It, it still feels quite busy. People are still happy and content. They're enjoying the fact they can squeeze the last drops of summer yeah. out of the month, aren't they? Well, we and even managed to get a lolly. And we haven't even been down the high street. We were surprised at how busy it was down here. Struggled to get a car parking space because we didn't really plan it. We thought we could just rock up, park and do what we wanted to do today. But it is still quite busy, isn't it? Yeah, we tried four car parks and we couldn't get in. It was no? we, were, we were surprised. We were genuinely surprised how busy St. Ives still is at this time of the year. He was muttering, should have come in on the train. <laughs> Should have come in on the train. <laughs> so one of the things I like to do out of season in St Ives, Sarah, is walk up and down Smeaton's uh, Pier, where we yes, are now, yeah, and lovely. head over for the Sloop, yeah. and which is the pub. I don't know if you'll get in there. I think you're thinking of getting in there, aren't you? I am thinking of getting in there. I but I, I, what so. I like to do, I like to recreate that scene from the 1980s action uh, adventure film Razor Titanic. Do you know the scene I'm talking about? Yeah, because you watched it. We watched it this morning. <laughs> <laughs> watched it this morning. It's one, it's one where Alec Guinness is walking down the pier here, yeah. reminiscing about his time on the Titanic when it was going down. But all anybody ever asks me about is the Titanic. And then he carries on the conversation and they end up in the sloop, don't they? Well, he's the landlord, isn't he? He is the landlord, yes. Yeah. Here he is then, the proprietor himself. And give us two large pink gins. I don't think you're going to get in there today. <laughs> we thought we'd merrily stroll in there today as well, didn't we? How wrong were we? We thought we'd walk in, get any table we wanted. I don't think we will, Summer. No, but it's lovely atmosphere down here this afternoon. If you want to come and spend a few days in St Ives to get a bit of rest before winter really sets in. It's a good place to be. It's a good place coming, to be. isn't it? Yeah. yeah, and everything's still open. It's it's 
got a vibe about it, hasn't it? It just feels good. It feels like summer, but without the weather. <laughs> yeah, no, don't say that. We've got a lovely sunny day. <laughs> it feels like summer without being rammed. That's true. Yes. yes. It's just pleasantly busy. Yes. It's a bit busier than I thought. Where's some chips? <laughs> Do you fancy two pig gins? <laughs> so this is the bar. They, they serve two pink gins to Alec Guinness. Two pink gins. Yeah. I enjoyed that. Made that number six as well. <laughs> six times today. That's mad. It's spotted. Yeah. <laughs> Feeling refreshed. I think I'm glowing. Let's have a look along the harbour front. What is there to do? Out of season. I love the front. <laughs> do you think we're allowed to film in the arcade? <laughs> Give it a go. Where they do the um, shooting with the water pistols and stuff. Do they still do it? I don't know. They used to years ago, didn't they? She can have a look. I don't got any coin. <laughs> no, not if I. I have to take cards. Oh, gosh. When we had a bundle of coin, we used to bring the kids down on a winter's afternoon. Lose an hour in the arcade. With the shaking, you know, the tables that went like that. And the racing horses. I thought they got rid of all these and they're still here. Ready loaded to go. That one's gonna go. Oh, and the two P ones. Oh, I used to love bringing the kids down here to do this. That's light, yeah. <laughs> cool. Are you feeling lucky? Oh, it's got to be done, isn't it? Are you gonna try and get me wet? Oh yeah. <laughs> Much. Oh, he <laughs> 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 got me again. Are we done? I'm done. Oh, very oh, good. That was fun. It's a bit of fun, wasn't it? Yeah. Where are you? All right. There we go. Very good. <laughs> I got you. I they, got you. They wet. can hit the look target, at, sir. Yeah, I know. Look at your leg. I look like I've sort of slightly wet myself. <laughs> he managed to get the same leg twice. It's, it's quite impressive. It's almost like I need to move. <laughs> well, <laughs> there was a clue there, wasn't there? <laughs> You can only do it if you sing. Oh, we did that last any time. Any evening, any day. <laughs> fine, any <laughs> you don't know the words. Do it all. <laughs> do in the limb of walk. You're going to do it then? Go on. <laughs> oh, 
to had to be done, I guess. Can I just show everybody this? What's this? Goodness. Right. Where am I going? No, oh, it's open at the moment, but this is contactless now. 40p to have a pee. Really? I think this might be a separate video. I agree. So, if you want to have a wee now, yeah. in there, I, I'm not quibbling over the 40p, although it's quite expensive. What I'm quibbling about, you can only pay on a card. Yeah. You can't pay cash. So if you're a family, yeah. a single parent family, yeah. down here in the summer, and you've got three or four kids, yeah. and the oldest one, for example, wants a wee, yeah. How, how can you leave any of them? You'd have to bring them all and your stuff yeah. into the loo to pay contactless yeah. to then come out of the loo with all your stuff to go back to where you were. Yeah, and then you come back and the other one wants to go. Oh my goodness. How ridiculous. Never heard anything so ridiculous. Comments below. What do you think? 40p on contactless, is that too much for a pee? No one. Let us know. We just want to say a big hello and thank you to everybody that we bumped into and that came up and said hi. It's lovely to meet you all. <laughs> you know who count. you are. Yeah, I think we've been what, seven, <laughs> no, maybe eight. More. More, is it? Um, <laughs> it's taken us a while to film this video today. Yeah. <laughs> I've had a lovely day. Yes, so have I. Uh, we've completely made a different video to the one we intended to make when we set out this morning. Yeah, we did have a picture in mind, but circumstances have led us through a different path. All I can say is I'm very, very, very relieved, but I don't do yet. <laughs> Good luck, Sarah. Thanks. <laughs> For those of you that know St Ives, we parked at the rugby ground and it's right at the top of the hill. And I'm so glad. <laughs> to see that sign. So I'll walk around St Ives today in the Tate, along the beaches, up to the island, out to the harbour. Fitbit's telling me it's seven miles. <laughs> That's more than we would usually do on a filmed circular walk. It's a lot in it, just mm. around St Ives. Yeah. I enjoyed that last bit all the way uphill. Oh. Sarah, there's two things I didn't do today. Yeah. In the sloop, I missed a trick. What? I, I, sh I, I had a rattler. I should, should have, have asked a for a Guinness. Guinness, Alec Guinness. I know, I'm waiting for the comments. Second thing I forgot to do, if you've enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up, helps with the algorithm. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. And we're on Facebook and Instagram to find out more about what we're doing with the channel. I also forgot to film any signs that said St Ives. So there's one. So it's right at the end of September, almost yes. October. The weather's actually been pretty good today, hasn't Very it? Very kind to I us. thought we would come to St Ives and it would be quiet. <laughs> it's been really busy. Mm. So Lovely vibe about the town. It's a everybody's vibe. really happy, yeah, nice. everybody's relaxed, it's, enjoying themselves. It's not silly busy. No. It's just really nice busy. Mm. Mm. And it's I not think, rammed, it's just pleasant. Yeah, I've had a lovely day. Yeah, and uh, you can still manage to get a seat if you wanted to, couldn't you? And look at the view of the harbour as the waves are gently breaking on the beach. There's room on the beach to have a walk. It's not silly, silly busy. And you can still get into the pub, so you can go to yeah. restaurants, that type of thing. So, we sat out at the start to say, is it worth visiting St Ives slightly out of season? Yes, yes. <laughs> you need to come to St. I've had a lovely day. So until next time, we'll say goodbye for now. Bye. Bye. Bye.